Hi everybody and welcome back to Beth Unboxes. I'm Beth and this is my sister Krista. Hello. Today we have, we'll find out if this is a pleasure or not, <laughs> the opportunity to open up the new Pete Louise budget box for, this is actually the September, September. box because we're in October, they sent the previous month. There's a big long story behind it and we're not even sure this is actually what we were supposed to get, but it is a cute box. Show us the box. So it looks like a computer screen and it says browsing. Yeah, it says, uh, don't mind me, babe. I'm just browsing the best brow products. Tap search P. Louise. Go. It so. actually has the URL at the top for how what the search would look like. It's pretty cute. It is really cute. Um, the situation with this, today is the 23rd of October. We They usually start shipping the first week of the month. They didn't. Uh, the second week of the month, that email, they sent out a corporate email and said, hey, we'll ship these by the 14th, don't worry. The 14th came and went. We did not get any shipping information. Another few days later, I emailed again, and they said there was a delay with a product that they were waiting for so we could get really cool stuff, but that everybody would have tracking information by the 17th, which we did. And now it's the 23rd, and we got it, and it's like three days before I get billed for my next box. So... It's yeah. here. We didn't know it was going to be here today. It did ship exactly. really quick once it shipped. And it didn't. This doesn't seem to be what we saw in the yeah. spoilers at the end before. We'll see the, when we open. So, let me look. Okay. We are might be a little disappointed. Yeah. That, well, truth be told, we know it's in here because the label says exactly every item that's in there. So, unless there's stuff in here that they didn't label, this has nothing to do with the spoilers that we got. It does say browsing. It is I mean, a thing. I it has a kit set that they Browsing put. is the clue here. Yes. Okay, so oh this oh this is way cute. It's a keyboard. You still gotta give them a hundred percent. hundred percent. They could have just thrown any box together, but they put it in a super cute box. Yeah, this is not what we thought we were gonna get. We're hoping there it looks more fun than it is. Yeah, but. so far not looking really fun. So yeah. we're gonna, we got five of these. These are brow pencils. We'll just start opening them. The price for this box is $39 or $40 depending. I think it might be $40 now. We pay $39 plus shipping. And they do ship from the UK. These are good size pencils. Yeah, I'm just going to open up because they're different shades. Mm -hmm. These are so, all brow pencils. Oh, they have colors on the end of the box. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. So. At least they are all brown tones. Let's, let me see. These are what all the boxes. So they go to like a blonde to a little bit darker yeah. so they're good size pencils i mean they're they're uh hefty so yes. there's some good products in them so you can't be mad i like that. the feel of the Ooh. packaging it's a nice kind of matte finished plastic and it's angled it, yeah they're angled twist ups really nice so that's you want to watch them Ooh, on your hand yeah scroll down a little bit these so are don't. all really nice It's not a super creamy, but it is meant to draw on your brows, so I guess maybe it doesn't have to be. Yeah, it's not creamy. It feels more like a pencil on mine. It's kind of crayon -y feeling. It is not smooth at all. So these two shades, I'll show you the second one. This one might be a little broken. Uh, are probably the lightest shades. And I have the darker shades. And she has the next set of darker shades. So you'll see the lightest, next lightest medium uh next and then super dark yeah, so, so they're nice there are five different full size pencils in here yeah that's good and I, again like she said we do use eyebrow pencils and most of these shades even though we you don't have to always use the exact same shade i could go lighter with the color i'm using and i can try that now that i have a lighter color so that'd be fun yeah and they sound like they feel, they feel like they have a lot of products i mean it's not exciting yeah. as some of the other stuff we get but you know it's still good stuff and it's definitely still worth the value the price Packaging still over the top. And so the next thing we have is eyebrow gel. And they did just do, I want to say a TikTok or an Instagram of oh my gosh, look at eyebrow too. that just setting someone's eyebrows and doing the whole shebang. We, oh, Ooh. that's sticky. That's way stickier than that. We don't generally use eyebrow gel, but we'll try it and see. I just don't like feeling my eyebrows, so I like them to not be that's sticky, but look like it was a kind of a it's a more gel. looser gel, yeah. so you'll want it. It was sticky. I, I guess, guess it's supposed to be sticky. We can see the, the thing for putting it in your mouth, so we'll test it and see. 
I don't hardly ever use an eyebrow gel because I don't like the way it feels. Yeah, oh I, I might just find a new home for that one. Our last thing is the palette, and this says it is a signature blend, and this is an eyebrow palette. There's the front of it. Try to get it without the glare. Whoops. And the inside is a lot of different colors for brows, everything from the lightest to the darkest. So again, keep in mind, P. Louise is geared towards makeup artists. So obviously one person doesn't need 10 or 15 different colors of eyebrow shades. But if you're doing professional makeup or even have makeup parties with your friends, you will need multiple shades. And that's the idea behind this. Are these dry? How do you apply them? These, it looks oh, like on this there are anything. five creamy and five powder. I'm guessing you'd have to have your own. Yeah, you would have to have your own, own tools for this. Because usually when she sends something that needs a brush, she sends a brush. But these will just, you'll have to use your own little eyebrow pencil, eyebrow brush. So either um, those little flat skinny ones that you can even use for lipstick or eyebrows would work well for that. So it was a lot of stuff in here. We got, we got five pencils, a palette, and the eyebrow gel. Again, this box is $39 plus shipping. And wherever you live in the world, your shipping will vary. So was, was it worth the wait? No. Eh, no. Is it, this is probably the worst box we've ever gotten from her. We're like, yeah. I like am disappointed. Yeah, this is not because it's not exciting and it's not really much of anything we can use a lot of. And so, yeah, well, kinda, under, yeah. The packaging is the only thing that I like about this whole palette. Yeah. So it's kind of disappointing after a long wait to get a very boring. Yeah, it was nice. Boxes. It was not bad stuff, but if you're gonna do an eyebrow theme palette. Maybe you don't do 100% eyebrows because not everybody's going to use it and it's going to go to waste. Um, it would be nice to have maybe an eyeshadow palette, eyeshadow palette or a lipstick palette or just something to mix it up. Mascara. Mascara. Something else, something else that eye related maybe, but not 100% brows. Yeah. The box is cute. box is cute. Disappointing because the spoilers we still show lots of fun things. Yeah. And this is so. not what the box was intended to be. But well, it's from a spoiler we saw and it could have been wrong, but still it's okay. We still yeah. love P. Louise. It's just yeah. like we've never been disappointed by a box so this is a first for us. I know. We'll try to recover. I know. Somebody, you know what, a lot of people would be thrilled with this box, I'm sure. We're oh, just yeah. not those people. But like she said, we love our P. Louise and it's very likely we'll have our next one within the next two weeks because they do generally go out the first of the month. Well, maybe three weeks. Yeah. We'll probably have it before the middle of November, so... Hopefully it'll be a fun one, but on the plus side, next month we do get the P. Louise advent calendar. Well, it'll ship out next month. Hopefully we'll November. get it next month. But so you know, and you don't get disappointed because of it, we're not opening it until Christmas. So you don't get our video for that until after Christmas. But on Christmas Day, we're going to open it and do a video and show you guys what it looks like. But you have to wait. Well, again, not so fun with the pack with the items, but the package was cute. But if you did like this video, good or bad or ugly with these the products, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. For now, from Beth and Kristen, thank you for joining us on Best Boxes. Bye. Bye. Have a great rest of your day.